Hey everybody, this is Birch. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, Spider-Man needs a rebirth style relaunch. All right, this is an email we got. Let's let's see what we go. A lot of a lot of people have suggestions about Spider-Man. Dear Birch, it says Peter Parker was always a unique character in the Marvel universe because you have seen him actually grow up from being a high school student to a college student living on his own to a married man. The future world presented Spider Girl shows him as a family man. Yet since one more day happened, the character is stagnated into a world of wacky, shocking status quos. What if Dr. Octopus's mind is now in Spidey's body? Now Spidey's head of a global corporation. Oh, wait, that's gone. None of the stories after one more day really feel like they matter because the illusion of growth is gone. Peter Parker's tale uh, was all about a man growing up and accepting the extremes, increasing responsibilities that come with life. By the way, that's a great take on the character. And I think uh, this is the backdrop between with great power comes great responsibility was the idea that as you grow older, you gain more responsibility. And it comes in the form of, you know, going to college, getting a job, being married, having kids, all that kind of stuff. It was the continual acceptance of more responsibility. That was the tale. Um, and, and yeah, I, I agree. Since one more day, I mean, the idea, which we heard in interviews and everything else was, you know, hey, we need to take spider-man back to the core of that character and uh you know before you know basically readers can't relate to this status quo where he's married and he's married to a supermodel but he's supposed to be down on his luck like you know they talk about the parker luck and that's supposed to be a bad thing but then he's going home and you know having sex with a supermodel so it's like that that you know i'd like some of that parker luck you know? but but anyway that's um i'm very i've i've got the perch luck married to the greatest woman in the world uh, hi, honey. Please don't turn into mumbles again. All right. Anyway, so but but back to the, I, I, it is that because they've they've paused him, they've they basically halted his his progression. It did take away a big part of that journey of responsibility. Now I, I understand the complexity. I, I understand it's tricky because you know new readers are coming on; they're not experiencing that growth unless you're sending them to back issues. But this is where, by the way, for, you know, this is where the old. Uh, reprint in Takabon style makes a lot of sense because it turns out, you know, you got one piece and one piece has got, you know, the, the journey of the straw hats and Luffy and Nami and all these other characters, you know, getting more power, gaining more responsibility, learning the complexity, but, but new, new readers come onto one piece all the time. It's not like they, they join on, you know, episode 1042 and, you know, they're like, well, shit, I can't relate to this. You know, Luffy's got all these powers and everything else. No, the encouragement is go back and read the back issues to get the full journey. And that's how, that's frankly how, you know, the creator and a lot of the people involved have made so much money because, you know, they're mining that back catalog. They're basically creating this world where, you know, they're, they're able to keep cashing in. Um, it's the money doesn't just go to a shop. They're, they're creating, you know, reprints and volumes and selling books. I mean, like, I, why couldn't you do that with Spider-Man and then keep him married, keep him moving on, keep him going forward, keep him growing and changing. Um, but you've got all this back matter. So the idea that we have to halt that because it's, it's, you know, uncomfortable for new readers is a weird one. I think it destroys the story. But anyway, let's, let's, uh, there's a second paragraph of this mail, I think gets to the, um, the proposed solution. It says, I truly believe that Spider-Man is in need of a rebirth treatment or at most a soft reboot. Arguably, we've had that. That's what One More Day was. And the ultimate Spider-Man was kind of that as well. But anyway, a Spider-Man rebirth needs to bring back the sense of growth that the readers have fallen in love with. Bring back the marriage to Mary Jane. Resolve One More Day plotline uh, by having him beat the devil. A soft reboot character if you really want and keep everything before the Clone Saga and work from there. Tell a cleaner version of it and just go. Let MJ and Peter have their child. Let the present-day Spider-Man be a loving father and husband. Sure, it will be rough for the first two to three years, but the character deserves better. At least that's a suggestion. So, I agree. It's funny, because somebody uh, had posted, uh, like, this asinine comic saying, Perch never wants comics to change. I mean, like, fuck, I'm, I'm putting out 5,000 videos about how comics should change. But, but sure, I never want comics to change. Uh, but this is a good suggestion, and it's it's the right way to let the character grow and change and evolve. And I'll throw in one more thing, by the way, just just for what it's worth. As Marvel, you know, I don't know if they struggle with it too much, but 
you know, this idea of like, who's Spider-Man? Is it Miles Morales? Is it Peter Parker? Well, if you want to actually ensure and build to the future of Miles Morales, you know one really great way to do that, to give that character a boost? Yeah, have Spider-Man beat the devil, resolve one more day, get back together with Mary Jane, you know, refight their love, have have like a year of, of like awkwardness, like can we go back to the way it was now that we've gone through those, like how, how can we? Well, Spider-Man went, and there, he, you know, he was still married. The marriage was erased for a while, but he's still married. He's out banging the black cat and silk and all these other things. So anyway, um, but but regardless, I mean, you know, go back, have him beat the devil, have him do this stuff, have him get back together, ha- show that growth, have him become a dad, have the child, and, and you know, basically age and evolve that character. You can still make money of it off, you know, the graphic novels, trades, Tonkamon style things you put in the stores. But the other benefit it gives you is it allows you to turn the page to some extent and have Miles be the young Spider-Man. You know, you you do you get to do what you want to do. Basically, Spider-Man becomes dad. You still have, you know, you still can tell tons of stories that show growth and evolution of him being dad and everything that, that comes of that, which is great. But you also get to have your cake and eat it too, because now, you know, Miles makes more sense in this world. Miles is the next generation, truly. You know, Spider-Man is, you know, got a got a you know, wife and a kid, and he's he's moving on with his life. And Miles gets so and and to prove that this would work, look at the Into the Spider-Verse movie, which I would argue was one of the best ways to kind of sell Miles as a character. Well, what was key to that? Yeah, uh, you know, you had Spider-Man, you had you had dad Spider-Man basically show up to kind of pass the torch to the new generation, still had tons with Spider-Man, still had tons of, you know, adventure. You know, he, he, he was still featured on the center stage and you're still able to do lots of stuff with him. And you don't stop, you don't stop printing um, Spider-Man comics. You don't, you don't say Peter Parker no longer gets to be Spider-Man. He gets to be Spider-Man who's married and is a dad and is, and is gaining more responsibility and more wisdom, having more adventures, tons, tons more storytelling opportunities you can do with that. And Miles gets to be, you know, the, the reflection of Spider-Man, you know, as a, as a high schooler, you know, making his way through life. And hell, if you play this out and the comic business survives for another 40 years, then, you know, Miles gets to be a dad at some point and the, you know, the, the child of Peter Parker gets to take on the mantle. You get a, you get the girl spider, spider girl, May Parker, whatever. That's the way. That's the answer. I think to me, it's just so it's so obvious to do this. Instead, we're doing kind of the, the the worst of both worlds, where we've got Miles kind of awkwardly in there trying to fight for you know airspace at the same time Peter is. You have Peter who is uh, you know trapped. He can't grow now, and like you said, they have increasingly bizarre status quo changes they have to do with him. Like, no, oh, no, look, he's a mass murderer now. Like, ah, oh, he's a He's a tech billionaire. I like, yeah, look, he's a, he's a vet now. He's, he's doing vet stuff now. I mean, like, like what, what, what are you going to do? Oh, he's experimenting, you know, with, with being gay for a while. I mean, like, what are you, what are you going to do? The, the growth for Peter Parker is, is nil. They've, they've trapped that character. They've done exactly what, you know, you hear all the time in comics. Uh, people say they, they won't do, shouldn't do is the wrong thing to do. You've, in effect, killed any kind of character evolution and growth. You've just you've trapped into the same adventure over and over. You're, you're having to th- figure out new kind of new ways to tell the same story. You know, Parker has to be, and so that that's my pitch to it. I mean, obviously the uh, the inventors of One More Day, the people who who did that, and in fairness, it is people. I think a lot of people uh, credit that solely to Joe Q. And uh, I, I, I've said, yeah, I, I, I really disagree with Joe's mistake there, but, but a lot of people were involved in that decision. It's a bit of a revisionist history. It's funny because when that came out, a number of people were involved. What it feels like happened is that where like the music stops playing and everybody like takes a step backward and the person standing there is like, oh, wait, wait, what the fuck happened? Now you might, why am I in front of hell? That's, that's how it appears a little bit. That was a team decision. Uh, you know, again, in my view, not a, a bad team decision. But certainly a team decision. Anyway, that's that's what I would do. I think it's good if the characters grow and evolve, and I think you should let them grow and evolve. 
And I think there's ways to do it. Sometimes it's harder than others. In my mind, with with Spider Man, it's like one of the easiest. You've got all the pieces there for you. You've got the you got the wife, you've got the daughter, you've got the kid, you've got the the passing of the torch of family from Aunt May down to the next generation. You have Miles there stood up to be kind of the, the the new blood. I mean, like, look, it's all there. Like all the pieces are there. Just put them together. Anyway, what do you think? Is this a good idea? Would you do it? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.